I love technology. I love technology because it's cool, it's fast. It, you never know what's going to happen and it's limitless. Technology will and shall solve every problem and can be anything. And I think therefore that there's no limits on technology right now. But before I move on with my talk, I'd like to ask you to please close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine a world where everything is possible. What do you see? Do you see a perfect world? Do you see a happy world? Do you, for example, see a world where when you cut your skin, it will heal itself? Or do you see a world where when you're out at night, you look up to the starry night and you wonder what's out like to be out there in space? And you can go on your phone and book a ticket to space. Do you see a good world? Or do you see a sad one? One that's not so happy. Now open your eyes again and listen to the question, how long is it gonna take before this world you just imagined will become a reality? I think most of you would agree with me that it won't take that long. If you look at the past decades and see what we've already accomplished, technology has brought us already so far and it will bring us so much further. But I'm here today to tell you about a potential danger that comes with limitless technology. A danger that's right under our noses and we don't seem to do anything about it. Because when you just imagined a world, um, you saw a perfect world or maybe not. If you're like me and you like the fast developing world, if you're really into the tech and really going forward to new developments, then you probably saw this perfect world. And I think most of you in this room will. But there are also people who probably saw a really dangerous world, a really sad one. That's what also limitless technology can be. Because as with all things, it has a good and a bad side. And if I would describe this problem, I think you should start off with a skill. On this side, you have the ones who are completely reckless, who like everything and want to go forward as fast as they can. And on the other side, well, you have those who don't dare to do anything and they want to stop all the new developments. And of course, it's a generalization, but most people fit into either one of these two categories. Think for yourself, what did you just imagine? Where do you fit in? And I think that you all would agree with me. If we have the fast and the slow come together to a perfect middle, that's where the real good start is. Because I'm for innovation, I'm for new developments, but I'm even more in favor of a perfect innovation, the best way to move forward. And I think that that's something we don't discuss enough lately. Because most people are on this fast side. They don't step still and think about the problems that might come with innovation. And those on the other side, they only see problems. And a good example where limitless technology has caused problems was with video. It started off with us being able to videotape people, do entertainment movies, and it was all great, you know? We had cool Harry Potter movies, but also when my bike would get stolen, I could catch the criminal on camera. So we had both video proof and a new form of entertainment, and that was great. And both sides started to innovate further and further and further and further. And for the entertainment, we got to really cool fantasy movies where they have special effects, and these special effects got to look so real that we barely see the difference. And on the other side, we have the development, everything we see on television, we believe is true. So on one side, you have the barely seeing difference between reality and fiction, but you know it's fake, right? So that's fine. And on the other side, your complete belief in what the politician, for example, would say on television. Well, the special effects got developed further and further, and now we can even do something more cool. We can do face swapping. Basically, everything I'm saying right now, you could put somebody else's face on my face and make it look like that person is me. And it's, it's great for cool movies, for entertainment, it's awesome. But if you look at the other side, for video proof, it's not. 
we completely lost our belief here in the truth of video. Because you don't know whether or not something is real when somebody else's face can be put on that. So we lost our concept of truth, and we are in a complete pace of chaos if you look at video. And this is only one example of where we thought innovation is good, innovation is good, we should go further and further. But then, in hindsight, you see, well, it actually destroyed one of the fundamental good things of video, namely your video proof. So this is where you go, potentially, towards a really dangerous place. But I hear you all thinking, well, Elisa, if you know it all, tell us the answer. How are we going to solve this? I'd like to start off with the first answer to your first question. Well, I don't know it all. I'm just a technological student, like many here, and I tumbled upon this division, um, the problem between those who like technology and those who don't, and in general, they don't listen to each other. But if I would give one recommendation, one way to solve this issue, I would say, for those who like the fast developing world, sometimes stand still, wait, think. Think about what you're doing. Is this really something you want to be able to do? Or is it just innovation because of innovation? Because innovation because of the innovation is never a good thing. And you need to find the answer to the question, do you want to be able to do this? You need to find the answer and you need to think before you act. Because right now, technology is limitless. And if we don't do anything about it, we'll create a world we can't go back from. Or, if you do think about it, you'll create a world which will be perfect. <laughs>